Hello all and welcome to another edition of Everyday Black History, where we highlight the historical achievements and contributions of black men and women and institutions, both past and present. Now today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be looking at a pioneer in the medical field of ophthalmology and an inventor as well, Dr. Patricia Bath. Now Dr. Patricia Bath was born in Harlem, New York, the daughter of Rupert and Gladys Bath. Her father was an immigrant from Trinidad who was a newspaper columnist, a merchant seaman, and also the first black man to work in the New York City subway transit system as a motor man. It was her parents who inspired her love of culture and encouraged, and encouraged her to explore different cultures. When she was young, she was given a, microset, a microscope excuse me, which spurred her interest in math and science, so much so that after attending Charles Evan Hughes High School, she excelled in a rapid pace to the point where she got her diploma in just two and a half years. While in high school, Patricia Bath applied for and won a National Science Foundation scholarship, and this led to a research project at Yeshiva University and Harlem Hospital Center on a connection between cancer, nutrition, and stress, and stress which helped her interest in science which shift to medicine. The head of the research program realized the significance of her findings during the research and published them in a scientific paper that he later presented. In 1960, while still a teenager, Patricia Bath won the Merit Award of the Mademoiselle magazine for her contribution to the project. Already at such a young age, she already accomplished so much. Patricia Bath received her bachelor's degree in chemistry from Manhattan's Hunter College in 1964 and she relocated to Washington, D.C. to attend Howard University's College of Medicine, from which she received her doctoral degree in 1968. During her time at Howard, she was the president of the Student National Medical Association and received fellowships from the National Institutes of Health and the National Institute of Mental Health. Her interest in ophthalmology um, was spurred to a visit in Yugoslavia in 1967, where she noticed how blindness disproportionately affected uh, racial minorities and poor populations, and as a physician, she was determined to address this issue. She persuaded professors from Columbia to operate on blind patients at Harlem Hospital Center, uh, which had not previously offered eye surgery at no cost. Bath pioneered the worldwide discipline of community ophthalmology, which is a volunteer-based outreach to bring necessary eye care to underserved populations. She served her residency in ophthalmology at NYU from 1970 to 1973, the first African American to do so in her field. Dr. Patricia Bath holds four patents in the United States. In 1981, she conceived the laser FACO probe, which is a medical device that improves on the use of lasers to remove cataracts and for ablating and removing cataract lenses. The device was completed in 1986 after Bath conducted research on lasers in Berlin and patented in 1988, making her the first African-American woman to receive a patent for a medical purpose. The device, which quickly and nearly painlessly dissolves the cataracts with a laser, irrigates and cleans the eye and permits the easy insertion of a new lens, and it is used internationally to treat the disease all over the world. Dr. Bath has continued to improve the device and has successfully, successfully restored vision to people who have been unable to see for decades. Three of Dr. Bath's four patents relate to the laser FACO probe, and in 2000 she was granted a patent for a method she devised for using ultrasound technology to treat cataracts. Now, Dr. Bath, after completing her education, served briefly as an assistant professor at, at Jules Stein Eye Institute at UCLA and Charles R. Drew University of Medicine and Science before becoming the first woman on faculty at the Eye Institute. In 1978, Dr. Bath co-founded the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness, for which she served as president. In 1983, she became the head of residency in her own field at Charles R. Drew, the first woman ever to head such a department. And in 1993, she retired from UCLA, which subsequently elected her the first woman on its honorary staff. 
She also served as a professor of ophthalmology at Howard University School of Medicine and as a professor of telemedicine and ophthalmology at St. George's University. She was among the co-founders of the King Drew Medical Center Ophthalmology Training Program, and she also has lectured internationally and authored over 100 papers. So we can see just from everything that was discussed, just what Dr. Bath has accomplished. She's accomplished a lot in her life, and she still has more yet to accomplish. So Dr. Bath, we thank you for your contribution to Black History, and we salute you. That concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. We ask you to tune in as we always have uh, uh, more people and institutions that we will be highlighting. So stay tuned for the next episode.